Welcome to the last day of week 4's devotionals in our series about hope. Today we focus on Romans 8 verse 28. We know that in everything God works for good with those who love Him, who are called according to His purpose. Now most probably you've heard the funny story about the monks in the Middle Ages copying very important church documents by hand. Different rooms in the monastery were designated for the copying of different documents. And on a day like any other day, one of the monks started shouting from one of the rooms, We've missed it! We've missed it! All the other monks ran to the room and asked, Who has missed what? And he was still shaking his head in disbelief and just said, We've missed it! I read the original manuscript. We've missed it! The word is celebrate! We missed the R! It is celebrate! Now, this is just a funny little story, but words can really make a world of a difference. And that's also true about today's verse. Most of us has learned it as all things work together for good for those who love God who are called according to His purposes. Just to say quickly, there are quite a few Bibles where the original language is translated as in the translation we use today. And many prominent New Testament scholars also encourage us this translation. So listen again and spot the difference. We know that in everything God works for good with those who love Him, who are called according to His purpose. The sentence starts with, we know, and as we've journeyed these couple of weeks, we know that there's a knowledge that comes through beholding King Jesus and giving careful consideration to what we discover. We know that God promised to renew His whole creation. We know that the resurrection of Jesus shows that this promise is busy going into fulfillment and that Jesus is the Christ, the anointed King who leads this project of renewal. Through Jesus and by the Spirit, heaven and earth, the two spheres of God's creation have been joined together and that's why we know the kingdom of heaven is coming on earth. Hope as it is in heaven can now be on earth. For this purpose of God, we are called. And here comes the word that makes a world of a difference. We know that in everything God works for good with those who love Him. God works with His children. Children who share their Father's heart and vision for His creation. Children who pray with His Spirit for a world groaning because it still awaits total renewal. God is at work with those who love Him for good in everything. Just like when God created in the beginning, He is again busy with a good work. But this time He shares His work with us. And remember, new creation, unlike the first creation, isn't created out of nothing. God is taking the old and making it new. Nothing is too broken, too bad, too far gone that God cannot bring new life from it. This is the hope we have been saved into. And because God chose to work with us, this is the hope we can represent. I can think of no higher calling and purpose to live for. Where things are still broken, we partner with God, beginning with prayer, we give ourselves in prayer to God to work with Him. And then, then we use our resources and abilities and gifts to work with God to make things new, trusting the Spirit to lead us. Friends, we have come to the end of this four-week series, but the conversation of, about how we can be carriers of this hope in our homes, places of work and communities has just started. And that's why I want to plead with you Please stay engaged throughout this year and let's journey together and be surprised by the hope God reveals in us and through us. And so we pray. Our Father, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. By your Spirit, help us to continue to behold King Jesus and learn about your kingdom. And we give ourselves for this hope, bringing purpose and mission. Empower us and use us for the glory of the name of King Jesus, we pray. Amen.